Hi, and welcome to this Shaping the Digital Class tutorial. This tutorial will show you how to use Canva to build social media presence for your student. We are looking at Area 5 of the Digicom Edu framework, Empowering Learners. We're also looking at Topic 3, Actively Engaging Learners. In this tutorial, we're also going to look at one of our projects, a Digi Cookbook Recipe, which offers pre-made lesson plans, step-by-step -step recipes you can use in your lesson planning. Let's look at the recipe. Although this is a B1 recipe, I'm going to adjust it to A2 digital competence level. We've got the learning teaching situation, the target group, which is which are students uh, of an A2 digital competence level, and the ingredients, of course, is having a PC or laptop or a smartphone, an internet connection, social media account, for example, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Uh, Canva user account, of course, and um, and that's about it. Now, we are going to show you how to use Canva to create a nice graphic to make your classroom or school, Facebook, blog, or other social media posts stand out from the crowd. The main tool here is Canva. Okay? So you can find it at canva.com. I'm signed in uh, here in my account, which is in Spanish. It shows up in Spanish and Spanish by default, but I'll be uh, translating the parts you may not understand. Well, Canva is very versatile, having many uses or applications. Canva is a graphic design platform used to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, documents, and other visual content. The platform is free to use and offers paid subscriptions like Canva Pro and Canva for Enterprise. For additional functionality. Well, we have the um, options here, the social networks or else over here. Okay, we can scroll seeing posts on Instagram, Instagram stories, animations for social networks, TikTok background even, posts for Facebook, um, Facebook covers, banner for blogs, etc. etc. Well let's focus on posts for Facebook. These are the templates here on the left. And we may choose this one, this template for morning tea party. Well we may not like the idea of going to a tea party, but maybe we want to go to a Halloween party. For example, we can edit the text here, as you just saw. Um, we can also edit the other text down below. Maybe if we don't like this items, we can delete them. And we may find even We may find other templates here, but we may even want to use the elements. For example, this jack-o'-lantern here, or hat. We can add all these elements to our template. This one's animated. Oops, got too big, but we can adjust it. See? Okay. So texts can be changed, videos, we can even add a video. So this one is too big, we can also adjust it. Okay, here, so it doesn't cover, oops, there you go. This is too small, move it to the other side, for example. Or we can even change the background. Okay. We may as well add some music. For example, this one.
Well, once we're done making our template, we can either download it here or else publish it directly on Facebook. And for that, we need to connect with our Facebook account. We sign in and we already have our template published on our Facebook account. Well, don't forget to take a look at the recipe and we'll see you in the next tutorial.